Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I thought it would be time to do, it was time to do a video on my um, Babaco or Babaco fruit, depending on how you prefer to pronounce it. I'm not too sure 100% which one is the correct way. Uh, now I thought, I know it will interest some people because I've been waiting to see the tasting because I have previously successfully grown a couple of these fruits and done tasting videos but it was a good two or more years ago and if you haven't gone through my playlist for these plants you obviously won't have seen the tasting video or the fruit so I thought as we've got one on here it would be interesting to do it now if you're only just catching up with this video <clears throat> this uh, we're now I'm filming this on the 21st of May and the fruit dropped off the plant about maybe a week ago or slightly under that and I've been leaving it to ripen because it actually fell off prematurely instead of being yellow it was quite green when it fell off now these are very edible I haven't tried but you can pick these green and cook them as a vegetable rather like you can cook green papaya now this is actually Carica pentagona so it is a member of the papaya family but these tend to grow at higher altitudes in South America so they're also sometimes called mountain papaya but the true mountain papaya is normally considered to be Vasconcelia pubescens. Now the interesting thing about these fruits pentagona obviously is pentagon and the reason they get that name if you weren't aware is because they're actually five-sided you can see the sides are quite flat on them um, and they have a five-sided shape to the fruit hence carica pentagona um, five-sided papaya um, the fruit where it's growing is normally used for juicing because although the flesh is quite pleasant it's not sort of quite firm in the same way that papaya fruit tends to be firm and it, it's a very pale fruit inside. Now the plants can't be reproduced by seeds because the the plants are sterile. They form fruits without pollination. The flowers only effectively are female and they can't be pollinated or set fruits. Now occasionally when you open these up you might find a couple of darker seeds on them and look as if they're going to be uh, possibly fertile but I've tried and they never germinate because I think they're sterile and they're not viable inside the seeds. <clears throat> the fruit's also sometimes known as champagne fruit not because it's expensive or tastes like champagne but the flesh has a strange sort of can have a fizziness to it so it's kind of like you you're uh, sort of got something bubbly like champagne in your mouth when you're eating the fruit it's a slightly unusual sensation when I had them before they were quite pleasant I don't think this fruit is as ripe they should have some gift to them when they're ripe so I don't think they suffer from astringency now for people who are into the technical things well, I'll measure the length of this fruit it's about nine it's roughly eight and a half inches long so about 21 21 and a half centimeters from one size to another they can get a fair bit bigger but obviously that's with trees in the ground and as regarding the weight let's try a weight or get the weight on it so the weight is 648 grams of this particular fruit which translates to one pound and six ounces. So getting on for one and a half pounds actually. So quite a, quite a decent size and weight. Now obviously if you had a plant with several uh, of these fruits on, you could get quite a lot of juice out of it, but um, there probably wouldn't be much juice, point juicing one of these. I could just use the juice in mixed in with another smoothie. But as I said, the seeds in them are sterile, so they can only be reproduced from cuttings of the stems, stem cuttings. So you can't sort of send, the, when I open these up, you'll probably see very pale white seeds in but not um, not seeds that are uh, likely to be viable so I'll just pause the video and I'll um, I'll go and get my knife 
and we'll cut it in half and see what this one looks like inside. Okay, so now we've cut the fruit in uh, in half, I think you can probably see what I mean about the seeds, or lack of seeds, I should say. Um, there's absolutely, the inside is kind of like a, like a spongy, sort of a spongy, almost looks like a cotton wool texture, and then round the edges, the fruit's a little bit firmer. So I'll try both sorts of that. There are certainly no, you can see remnants of seeds in here but they're not seed seeds compared to a papaya that would be chock-a-block full of seeds it's quite an attractive looking fruit inside and what I thought I might do is so I never did one I never had a brick um, a refractometer before for doing the bricks I'm going to check the bricks on this because I'm curious to see if they've got much sugar content in them so I'm going to flip the stop the camera and flip it round and we'll have a taste and just see what the uh, sugar reading is on them as well okay so here we are back again so I wonder what that noise was there so we're gonna have a we'll try the spongier stuff in the middle first the spongier flesh yeah it's quite um I find them quite tasteless. There's not a lot of taste to it. It's 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 quite ple very refreshing, very watery. If I go to the outer flesh down the outside, I'm not the outer flesh. I'm not quite sure. Slight bit of citrus to it. it doesn't taste like papaya at all. It's a very high. juice content so it'll be perfect for probably trying the refractometer so let's see let's see what the sugar content is like on it if we can let's see very low I'm not surprised <coughs> not at all surprised it's got a bricks of about seven but it tastes sweeter than that because as, as often happens with very very juicy fruits between six and seven sometimes it's misleading and they're um they taste sweeter than they are so the sugar content is low or at least is on that bit actually i might just try a bit of the see if i can get a bit of juice from the what i call the more fleshy part because i wonder if that might be I wonder if it might be a bit more sugary on that bit there. Eight. Yeah, so that piece of the flesh is slightly juicier. That's uh, that's an eight. So what I'll probably do is put this in the fridge and I'll just mix it in with, uh, with my juice in the morning and have a smoothie. Um, there's only me to worry about. My son won't be interested in, in uh, tasting it, but I thought that would interest people who've been waiting to see a tasting on the uh, Babaco or Babaco because they haven't, um, they haven't looked at my old video from a couple of years ago. So I managed to get two fruits. Now that took from the flower last August around to May. So um, where are we? August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. May that's that's nearly 10 months at least nine months it, from flower to fruit in our climate because that developed over the winter months that would be probably quite different in the tropics you'd probably get them within about seven months in the true tropics because they would continue to develop uh, throughout the season and probably get larger fruits as well because they wouldn't be held back by the winter anyway I hope that proved of interest Two people have been waiting for that video on the uh, Babaco or Babaco. That's uh, Carica pentagona, one of the forms of a mountain papaya. Very interesting to be able to taste it and very rewarding to be able to get <laughs> fruit from any tropical plant at all in our climate. And that's, that was indoors in my kitchen all winter, so I'm very pleased with that. So thanks for watching the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Welcome to, of course, subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can share the video if you think that might interest someone over here and uh, click on the bell if you like updates on my new videos when they come out and I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.